Hey, good evening, it's Chef Chris, and you know what? I'm gonna show you something really cool I learned in class this week. I love this dish. Uh, the reason why I love it is, number one, it's actually uh, cost-effective, and it doesn't take very long to do. Uh, it takes longer to prep the dish than it does to actually cook the dish, and it's no, no lie. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do um, pepelote. And pepelote translates into cooking in a bag. That's pretty much it. Um, and the first thing we do is we get a piece of parchment paper, fold it in half, cut the edges so it's nice and smooth on both sides, or when it comes around like Valentine's Day, cut here on the fold side, all the way out here, all the way down to here, to make yourself a nice heart. Remember how we used to do that in grade school? And then, just as long as your ingredients will go inside, and then when you serve it table side to your honey, you just open it up and there's your heart, and inside is all the goodies. So, kind of nice, huh? First thing we're going to do is, is we're going to take part of this, and we're going to oil it down. What I'm going to do is, we've got one done here. This is Teresa's. And what we're going to do here is just oil on the pan. We'll spread that around a little bit. All we're doing here is when this cooks, we just want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan at all. And it holds our parchment paper in place when we're adding our ingredients. Okay? So, now what we're going to do is, tonight it is red snapper. So we're going to take this filet, this whole big filet, and put it all right on here. Okay. This is Dad's. Dad wants some big fillet. Put our fish all in here. Some of the little pieces that came along the fillet. I don't know if you saw the pictures of the fresh fish when we first started on uh, the post that I did earlier. But now what we're going to do is, is we're going to season our fish. We'll put in some paprika. And back in here, I have a little marjoram. And you don't want a bunch of this, just a little bit. There's that. Um, I want a little tarragon. Now, I'm gonna butter, oh, one more. One of my favorites, Old Bay. We are doing seafood after all. And this does add a lot of flavor inside. Put that in there, put a little butter on top. Nice. Let that butter get all through there. Okay. Now, in ours, this time we're going to put in the living grass. Um, <clears throat> we'll put in our veggies next. A little green pepper, some shallots. Give you a little bit of an onion flavor, but it'll also give you a nice little sugary flavor as well when they cook down. All right, so I'm gonna put in some Julianne cut zucchini and some Julianne cut squash. One of the things I will say since I've started culinary arts school, Teresa and I, we were actually eating a lot healthier than what we used to. Um, we'll put in a little bit of uh, put in a little bit of garlic. I think the dog wants to see what we're cooking. <laughs> She's growling <laughs> She's outside growling the door. growling outside the door. Tank, you want in here? You're gonna have to wait. Put our garlic in there. Tracy didn't want as much. I'm of the belief that there's not, now there is enough garlic. There is too much garlic. There's a friend of mine who don't think there's too much garlic at all in the world. Okay. Then we'll put a little bit of rosemary on top. Now, what we're gonna do is, we'll take our edges here, and we're gonna crimp this down. 
fold it over. You seeing that? Yes. Yeah. You getting that? <laughs> Pick it up a little bit and slide it this way. What we want to do is, is try to get our, our edge back in here. Let's move our food a little closer to that. There we go. Now, hang on, Tink. We're almost done here. I'm take this down here and I'm going to fold this edge here. And then we're going to start crimping it. Just like you would maybe, I don't know, maybe a pie dough or something like that. Roll and, and pinch and then fold and then push it down. All the way around. You're still at it, didn't you? Yes. Oh. The whole idea is that you just don't want your bag to open when it's cooking because what ends up happening a lot of times, these bags, when they create the steam inside, they want to puff up. If you don't crimp them down and get some folds in there, your bag will open up. You don't want that happening to you. Okay? So, here's this edge here. And if you want to tighten it up a little bit, one of the things that you can do is this. You just take one edge and you just roll it. Keep rolling, keep rolling until it comes right up to it. Same thing here. You just don't want it too tight in case that puffing starts to take place. You don't want to smother your ingredients. Okay? Let that flavor mingle in there. Now, what we've done is we have um, set our oven 450 degrees. And then we're going to pop these in the oven and we're going to let them cook for eight to 10 minutes. Now these are some thick fillets, a couple of them are. So we'll let them cook just a little longer, about 10 minutes and we'll be all set. And we'll be right back to show you the rest. All right, we've taken them out of the oven and we started opening them. The nice thing that you can do with in Papilote is, is serve it at your table side for your guests if you own a restaurant. It's very impressive to them. And let me show you what the inside looks like when you open them up. Look at this. All the vegetables are cooked. Your fish is cooked all the way through. Got your garlic in there. I've taken out her her rosemary and I took out her um, uh, lemongrass. And you can either serve it to your guests like this on a plate or you could take it out and plate it for them table side. Very impressive. Um, here's mine. Came out, the lemons on top. All your vegetables, all the juices looking real good. And to see this browning, that's quite natural. And the puffing is definitely natural because that steam is what helps cook the food inside. And when you open them up, you just want to be careful you don't have that steam burn yet. So keep your hands at a, de a decent uh, edge or away from the steam where it releases out of the bag. And Pepe Lote is excellent for a uh, appetizer if you serve them smaller or of course larger like these for an entree. And the other thing that's cool is you can do anything in them. You can put uh, shellfish, um, shrimp, crab, lobster, or all three together. I'll bet that'd be fantastic, especially you put in a little white wine sauce over the top when you open them. Ooh, ooh, very nice. And any kind of fish, tilapia, catfish, whatever you want, you can put in here and it took 10 minutes to cook at 450 degrees in the oven. And papillote is absolutely fantastic. If you own a restaurant, add it to your menu. You're absolutely gonna love it, but your guests will love it even more. Thanks, have a great night, and have a good time cooking.